art weekend again. I'm excited to use my canvas because the Philippine Eagle is going to be my subject for today. Since I'm using my phone to take a video of my painting process, I borrowed my mom's phone where I can see the image of the bird of which the painting will be based upon. I'm not confident to trace the subject without the need for pencil this time because it is the first time to paint an eagle. More so, something as majestic as the Philippine Eagle. These paints have been with me since last year and I have not used much of them except the color white because I need it so much especially for lighting the hues and now it's almost done. I'm not sure if blue is needed this time because the eagle is mainly colored white and brown but I'm lining it up in case I need it. I'm also putting up the other paints, especially the ivory black, just in case I need them. The color of the subject's background is actually green, but I think the light reflected more of the blue pigment of the paint. It's a good thing I kept aside the blue paint because I need it as a partner for yellow to create green. I thought of making a blurred forest background since we're talking about eagles here. The forest is the bird's natural habitat, and it's right that we keep them there. Honestly, I don't have plans to do a portrait of the eagle, but I was so fascinated with it after watching an episode of Our Planet on Netflix, which featured the Philippine eagle. I thought it was such an awesome and beautiful creature, I should make a portrait of it. If you've noticed, I'm not color blocking the whole subject because I want to focus on the color details of each part of the bird. I need to start from the eagle's face, which I think is the most crucial part of the subject. If I don't do justice to the eagle's fierce and beautiful face, I think the painting is ruined. I don't know if I'm using the wrong paintbrush or if I was putting too much pressure on the paintbrush. I was not satisfied with how the streaks of the feathers look like. But it's okay to cover the mistakes because oil paint is opaque. I did not use oil as a medium for this painting because I want every layer to quickly dry so I can cover them up with another corrective layer. mistakenly added too much thinner on my brush so what happened was that some of the green paint in the background caught up in the white feathers of the bird. That's why a tissue should be handy in every oil painting. Adding the brown streaks on the feathers is my favorite part of the painting process, but I still have to be careful because they should be thin. I am always in awe when I see the Philippine Eagle. For me, these birds are a symbol of power and majesty, but it's sad that their numbers are dwindling because of poaching and deforestation. They also have a vital role in our ecosystem, and losing them is a great loss for all of us. I really hope that they won't go extinct because they are endemic in the Philippines. Isn't it more beautiful to see these creatures soaring high up in the sky rather than to see them in cages?
I'm amazed that I've finished my work after about an hour and a half. What do you think? Do you also find the Philippine Eagle beautiful? I'd love to hear your comments. Man, I'm almost out of dinner. I need to buy one or I won't be able to paint next week.